most cases, those receiving major long-term medical treatment would work from home, avoid public gatherings, and possibly take some time off from work. There's only so much time away for King Charles, who declared his fight with cancer earlier this year. He is, after all, the king. Instead, on April 8, Charles was scheduled to attend an event, instead, he called in substitutes and appeared to get some much-needed rest. Prince Edward, the younger brother of Charles, and Princess Sophie joined the Entente Cordiale's 120th anniversary celebration parade instead. The brief ceremony, which reportedly lasted about 15 minutes, saw the royal couple inspecting troops and watching the changing of the guard alongside Hélène Duchesne, the French ambassador to the UK. Edward looked dapper in a navy pinstripe suit, a light blue button-down shirt, and a red and blue tie for the event. Sophie then accessorized her baby blue dress with a beige trench coat to complement her husband's blue color scheme. Critics had already hinted to Edward and Sophie's potential for advancement within the British royal family prior to their replacement of Charles. After all, the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh are the only senior royals under 60, aside from Prince William and Kate Middleton, who was also just given a cancer diagnosis. Prince George, 10, is a significant drop below them and is unlikely to be seen attending royal functions by himself very soon. Jenny Russell of the Times claims that this demonstrates the failure of Charles's ambition for a slim-down monarchy. According to Russell, the royal family appears more fragile and thinned out when there are fewer active royals, particularly those who are in their latter years. We have to agree as it is now known that Charles and Middleton will need longer time off for recuperation and treatment, 